When it comes to identifying a stroke, the pressure isn't just on family and friends to recognize it and get help fast. Once the patient arrives at the hospital, the clock is ticking for doctors and nurses too, as faster treatment can stop lasting damage. Kick by Forest Caroline Flynn working for you with an exclusive look at Deaconess Medical Care's new protocol for stroke patients. Multicare Deaconess is the only hospital in our area cutting out a few steps in their protocol for when a stroke patient arrives. Now, these steps aren't anything crazy, and they certainly aren't extreme, but they cut down on time. And when it comes to a stroke, even a minute can make a tremendous difference. You're fine this morning. You just have left-sided weakness as well. When Multicare Deaconess Hospital is told a stroke patient is on the way, teams mobilize. Every second counts. Said the average blood clot related stroke will kill 2 million nerve cells every minute. Stroke team to, the department. to start Stroke Awareness Month, the hospital rolled out a new plan to shave off as much time as possible and identify the stroke fast. They invited KXLY to watch a practice run. The patient, a member of hospital staff. Can you wiggle your fingers? Wiggle your fingers for me. Well, here that I'll go right to the emergency room. Wow. So we're in the emergency room before the patient gets there. And then we follow the patient into the scanner. We're doing our assessment as we're rolling along. If you are rushed to the hospital with symptoms of a stroke, gone are the moments spent getting settled into a room and changing into a hospital gown. So we try to avoid unnecessary things, get people right into the scanner after a brief assessment. Identify where the stroke is, what kind of stroke, how much tissue is at risk. Deaconess says this type of protocol is gaining traction around the country. The goal to get treatment started quickly so patients can avoid lasting damage. With these mechanical clot extractions, with, a, uh, with these very large strokes that we have, uh, we've seen patients walk home the next day or the day after sometimes. Now, not everybody ha is as lucky as that, uh, but you increase the likelihood of good outcomes like that the sooner you treat. Caroline Flynn, KXLY4 News.